So this morning, presented at the ACC, were the results of the Partner 3 trial. This is an extremely important trial because it focuses on patients at low risk for, with uh, aortic stenosis. Uh, TAVI has been previously approved for patients at intermediate and high risk populations, uh, but this is the first time that low risk patients have been randomized. There were 1,000 patients in total, randomized to the two treatment arms, and uh, they were followed up for one year uh, after intervention. The trial was uh, structured in order to demonstrate that TAVI was non-inferior uh, to conventional open aortic valve replacement in these low-risk patients. And the analysis were, the uh, uh, results were absolutely incredible. Not only did uh, TAVI uh, demonstra was demonstrated to be uh, non-inferior, but was actually uh, superior to conventional aortic valve replacement with regards to their primary outcome, they chose a very clinically important primary outcome of either death, stroke, or rehospitalization. And uh, as I said, this was a statistically significant benefit for TAVI. One can argue that rehospitalization may not be quite have quite the clinical impact that the other two elements of the primary outcome have, but even then, when they looked at just death or disabling stroke, there was a statistically significant uh, uh, improvement of TAVI versus surgery. And this was a, a, a result that we really weren't expecting, and it's going to have profound implications for our care of aortic stenosis patients. However, there are some limitations for the study. Um, we have to look very closely at their inclusion and exclusion criteria, and we realize that, for example, bicuspid aortic valve patients, which form a large proportion of low-risk patients, were completely excluded. Um, and when we look at the patients that were included, we see that with an average age of 74 and an average STS score of 1.9, these would be what we would still call sort of the somewhat higher risk of the low-risk population. Low-risk uh, aortic stenosis uh, patients form 80% of those patients that are currently operated on. Uh, when I say low risk, that means STS score of less than four. And these patients that were in this study would be the minority of those 80%. And therefore, we have to be careful when we're looking at their inclusion and exclusion criteria when we're applying these findings to our uh, patient populations. However, the results are absolutely paradigm changing and this is going to have a huge effect on the care of our patients with aortic stenosis as of tomorrow.